We want to meet now an artist who is an expert in this field. Job Learson is the 2020 laureate of the Alea Prize for Cultural Values. As a cultural historian at the University of Amsterdam, he has made it his mission to study how European culture can come to terms with national sentiments. And I have the pleasure now to talk to Joop Leersen. I'm connected with him digitally. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hello there. Hi. Joop, let's uh, start with a question which is really difficult, but maybe you can answer it quickly. What do you think is the defining element of the European identity? Yeah, well, um, the, the answer is, um, if there has to be a short answer, complexity. And I mean uh -huh. that in two ways. Uh, there's, first of all, the complexity of a long history. Um, it goes back to many different periods, all the way from classical antiquity to the present day. And all these periods have left different self-images, different identities in our rearview mirror. And that goes from the rule of law to the spirit of enterprise to the memories of tyranny and oppression. And that leads to the second point of complexity. Uh, the uh, European identity is terribly, you know, uh, subject to moral contradictions. On the one hand, there is that set of memories which leads to supremacism, pride, Eurocentrism. And on the other hand, there's a great degree of remorse and trauma, like what have we done? So, and all this is at the same time. So to be European means to live with mixed feelings. <laughs> That's true. What are the scientific challenges uh, when you research a topic like European culture? Right. Uh, yeah, they are fairly substantial. Uh, to begin with, nobody knows what culture is e any more than what European identity is. Uh, it's a very fuzzy, undifferentiated idea. It can go from ingrained habits and lifestyles to arts and sciences. Um, and it's very difficult to operationalize as a scientific question. So I, uh, people tend to reduce culture to the underlying input factors rather than to analyze what it actually does and what it does to us. So I, I've been trying to do big, fuzzy data uh, with computer-aided uh, analyses. And secondly, there's another problem. People tend to see culture as being specific to a given nation. We have a national tunnel vision, um, and we tend to filter out what's entangled transnationally and how culture crosses borders. And that makes it very different to study culture at the European level. Computers can help. <laughs> Uh, very briefly, uh, we all have a lot of stereotypes in our minds, but uh, how important are stereotypes, though, in contemporary culture? Much more important than we think. I would say they are our cultural subconscious. We think we are innovative, modern, you know, forward-moving, but in so many respects, we keep on falling back on the narratives, the myths, the explanations that we heard in our childhood from the past, and we recycle these images, these memories, these myths. Think of a, a Netflix series like Barbaren, or you know, or the, the stories of the past that keep on being recycled. Okay, thank you so much. We are looking forward to learn more in your event during the summit. Thanks a lot.